Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be presenting our April 2021 forecast. It's April, that means we need to make a forecast for this month. You guys have been asking about this like crazy, so here it is. Now, for today's comment of the day, first off, I want to ask you guys, how do you hope that the month of April of 2021 is going to go? Let me know in the comments down below how you would like it to go, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into things, and first things first, we're just going to be breaking down the precipitation forecast for the month of April. So first things first, the below average precipitation, and this is mostly going to be for the southern United States here. We see states like California, Oregon, Idaho, Nevada, the four corner states, Wyoming, in through the plains, even in through the, the central and the southern plains there, Oklahoma, Texas, and then the Gulf states all the way up through the southern mid-Atlantic there, like the Delmarva, Maryland. Uh, Virginia and North Carolina. Now we even have a second shade here of that below average precipitation. And as you can see, based on where it's located there for the four corner states, Nevada, portions of California as well, we're not expecting a very active southern jet here that's going to bring those storms into the western United States. We're expecting that to really slow down actually. I do think there will still be some severe weather events there for Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Arkansas, Louisiana, even the Gulf states as well. Even though they're in those regions of the below average precipitation, uh, it's going to take a lot more than that to decrease the amount of severe weather you can expect for the month of April. So I'm, I really am just expecting it to be drier and quieter here for the southern United States, especially the southwestern United States there, where I really just don't anticipate too much activity whatsoever this month of April. Now here is our above average precipitation region. And as you can see for North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and then the New England states as well, we expect some above average precipitation. And even though our La Nina has technically ended, we usually see a lag in that end. And this actually does quite look like a uh, La Nina pattern with the Great Lakes in the Northeast having that above average precipitation and then more dry for the Southwest. This is a very classic La Nina pattern. And I expect it's gonna take a couple of months for those La Nina conditions to really begin to slow down and die down eventually uh, towards either a neutral Enso back to a La Nino or a neutral Enso back into an El Nino. There's a big question mark there at this point, what's going to be happening next. We're obviously going to need to make some videos about the upcoming Enso uh, and what you can expect generally with the Enso moving forward. But for now, uh, we're just going to talk about the month of April, obviously, within this video. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to move on and talk about that very exciting temperature forecast in just a moment where there's some very exciting things coming up. Then we're going to talk about that severe weather forecast, and then finally the overall forecast after all of that. All right, now here we are taking a look at the temperature forecast, and we're starting out with those below average temperature anomalies. And as you can see for California, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, portions of Wyoming, the Dakotas, Minnesota, we're all expecting to be slightly below normal temperatures. The interesting thing is that for April 1st through maybe 3rd, the pattern isn't going to look like this at all, but we do expect this pattern to eventually take place after that first couple of days of April is said and done. We should revert back to a pattern that looks something like what I'm showing here, colder in the west, and I'm going to show you the rest of it coming up soon. Uh, but the first few days of April could be very cold for the eastern United States. So you might be thinking during those first few days, like, what? This isn't, you know, this isn't a very good forecast. It's already very cold here, and he's not calling for it to be cold. Just wait. Just give it a few days. We will get into this pattern. Uh, I'm very confident of that. Now, for Washington, Oregon, and California, we actually have a second shade of below average temperatures here, as you can see in the darker blue region here. And that's just where I expect us to be especially below normal here uh, for the month of April as far as temperatures go. Now, let's begin to get into those above average temperature anomalies. And first things first, for the four corner states in through Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio. Uh, and you just take that eastward. So basically the south central United States, the four corner states, and then the upper Midwest. And then take that eastward. We're expecting all of those areas to have above average temperatures for the month of April. Now if you're in these two lighter shades, the lighter shade of blue and the lighter shade of orange, it might not be as noticeable. But on paper you will certainly be above average and below average respectively for the month of April. It's these second shade areas where it's going to become a lot more noticeable 
uh, where you're at, and you're really going to feel it as you go outside from the day to day during the month of April. You'll probably be thinking, wow, this April has been really warm so far. Wow, this April has been really cold so far, depending on which color shade you're in. Uh, but that's just how we expect it to go. Some notes as we're moving forward, we will break this down a little bit further in a minute, but with the cold centered over where it is for Dakotas, uh, Minnesota, Wyoming, Montana, and then that warmth below it, that could encourage some more severe weather activity for the plains uh, and also the Gulf states as some cold fronts still make their way through occasionally down there uh, where it's been very warm. We, I could see some outbreaks happening in that type of a scenario, and that's what we've already seen throughout the month of March. Now for our even more above average temperature region for the four corner states, uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, uh, Mississippi there as well, even portions of western Tennessee. We're all expecting to be moderately above average temperatures there for the south central United States. So you can see the eastern, the very extreme eastern United States uh, I've left in that first shade and that's because they are going to have a very cold start to the month of April and I think that could uh, kind of impact the averages as we move through the month of April. So it might actually uh, lead us to being like a quarter or half a degree further um, below normal or closer to normal rather than the areas over Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, if that makes sense. I know that's a little bit technical there, so it might be confusing, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to be as clear as possible here. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at that severe weather forecast for the month of April. Will there be massive severe weather outbreaks in April, just like there was in March? Find out in just a moment. Now, just like the precipitation and the temperature forecast, we actually have a layered system here. So the first layer here is where we're pretty confident there could be a good chance at some above average severe weather. Uh, not all of these areas will have above average severe weather. Matter of fact, probably some of these areas won't have any severe weather uh, but I just think there's an above average chance at severe weather within this region, this kind of pinkish red region. So you can see it takes up pretty much all of our tornado alley, both the traditional and the Dixie Alley uh, tornado alleys there. So I, I think all areas could have a chance to have above average severe weather, given how March has gone and given the temperature lineup as far as what that pattern looks like. It seems like we will be in a good pattern for severe weather to take place. Now, we even have a second shade here of that above average precipitation, or sorry, severe weather, I almost said precipitation, and that is in this more deep cherry red color, and that's going to be for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Kentucky. In all of these regions, I expect to have a really good chance of having above average severe weather, especially based on how the month of March went. Uh, but also based on that temperature anomalies and, and the pattern that looks to take place there. Like I was saying earlier, that's going to play a very huge role in that severe weather activity throughout the month of April. So overall, I do expect above average severe weather throughout the month of April here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that overall forecast. And this is a fan favorite because I'm able to kind of depict exactly what I'm thinking. And as you can see, for the West Coast, we're expecting cooler than normal conditions. You saw that on the temperature forecast, and it stays true here, obviously. Dry conditions there, just to the east of those cooler conditions. We see typical snowfall there for the Rocky Mountains. Uh, the month of April is still a winter month up there. We see some Arctic air there for those pink and blue regions up there for the north central United States. I do expect some cold fronts to come through. Some will be more potent than others. I do expect some very potent cool outbreaks there. We see the severe weather outbreaks region there for Texas, Oklahoma, and that takes it all the way in through the Dixie Alley as well. That's what we've seen throughout the month of March, and that doesn't seem like it's going to slow down anytime soon. We see stormy there for that green region. I think we're going to have above average precipitation, and that could mean some severe weather or thunderstorms there. We see a colder start for the southeast. Again, the first couple of days of April will be quite cold there for the eastern United States, and then that purple region there for mostly just New England. We're expecting a late start to spring. So we're going to see a late, spark, uh, late start to those April conditions, those typical April conditions that you would typically expect. Anyway, for our confidence tab, we're at a four out of six, and that's very high for a seasonal forecast. I don't know if there's a scenario where I'd ever go higher than a four out of six uh, on, a, on a seasonal or monthly forecast like this. So I'm feeling very confident in this forecast. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, how do you think the month of April is going to go? Not how do you want it to go, how do you think it's going to go? And Random Things said, I think after this snowstorm, April will be warmer than average. And other than that, it will be normal with rain mixed with some storms mixed in. And uh, Generally, I agree. I think that's typically what we could expect for the eastern half of the country. 
uh, for the month of April. Obviously, you saw that in my forecast, especially up in the uh, Great Lakes in the upper Midwest region. So if you're there, uh, that's a pretty good call there. I definitely agree with you. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Property Damage, John Bambedic, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Alan Balemo, Adam S., Larry Lapan, Donna Carnes, Cameron Marshall, and Aiden Mattis. Alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Alan Cherry, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Michael Buell, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Kellen Manhart, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Falego, Garys, and John Qualisi. I'd also like to thank our channel members, Weathertop Dogs, uh, Hair Farms 1, and then we also have a super fan, Phoenix Nimitz. I want to thank you all for supporting the channel. Uh, if you would like to join our channel membership, there's going to be a button down below that you can click and join that today. Anyway, guys, be sure to absolutely destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content, and have an amazing day, and have an amazing April as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.